Soto in Seattle, the old Rainier building. This has been my studio for uh, for this whole album. Before I started uh, recording for this album, I toured a whole bunch of studios in Seattle looking for the perfect vibe, and uh, this was it. My guy Milo. There he is. What's up, my guy? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> This song started with a random beat I made probably like a year ago. I was at a studio with my friends, they were making their own song. I had this bell melody that was just, for some reason, just kept going in my head. And I love those little like toy box sounds. All my albums have shit like that. I love simple beats, you know. And then I added drums to it and sent them to Jake for him to uh, just oomph them up, you know, give him that slap. Camilla Recchio and Elon Wright sing. There is a jungle you can stumble into America with nothing and make, make it something, but there is kerosene. And then you bring the bells back right here, of course. The oh no, you don't. You don't bring the bell there. Never had a fortune or a trust fund. Never had a dealer cause I was one. Never changed the fabric I was cut from. Under my rug I was tucking one gun and a bunch of drugs. Uh, today we're working on some beats with legendary producer Jake Crocker. About to hop in the Lamborghini and uh, head out to Capitol Hill. We're really not fucking around with this album. We're trying to make sure every single song on it goes hard. Every single song on it slaps. There's not gonna be any throwaway tracks. Like each each song on this album is my baby that we've been working on it for so long. Some of the beats, whether they started with like me or John Martin or Jake, whoever, um, we always end up bringing them to Jake to put his final touches on them. Because sometimes we, you know, we'll have the idea, the idea will be there, but it just won't it won't sound as big and full as I want. And and, and Jake can make anything just like slap. He's the man when it comes to drums and 808s and just you know making a song sound super full and big. We started with this weird sound. We added some shakers. Then after that the drums with the shakers sound like this. I really enjoy this 808 simply because I can add any kind of effects on it to, to bring out those harmonics on the high end, but it still has a really clean sound bass on the low end. And then once we bring in the original melody, we have... Drum crack like a broken bat. They wanna hold you back, but don't, don't do that. What's up, dude? This is my little apartment, man. Devin's got a bone going right now. Hey, Devin. Hey, Devin, Devin, come here. Devin, can you sit? Devin, can you sit? Devin, can you shake? Good boy. Devin, can you lie down? Oh, we just got lie down, finally. <laughs> that's, never wor that's never worked on the first time, but we got it on camera, baby. Let's see what we got in the fridge real quick. We always gotta have, have to have the little uh, leftover cheesecake, clearly. Um, you know, a little lacroix, a little um, leftover pho broth, of course. Um, yeah, well, I'm trying to be healthy these days, you know? This is my shitty little home studio. We basically make all, our sh all the rough drafts of every song here, and then we take it to the real studio to make it actually sound like a song. I'm supposed to put all these pads on the wall, but uh, 
I got lazy, so I got this one. Check it out, and then I got the random. <laughs> We're bamboo on 15th, right by my apartment. This is my daily brain food, pretty much. Pretty much all I eat. <laughs> my last two official EPs, uh, Friends Funkin' Liquor and uh, Play Pretend. Friends Funkin' Liquor we made when, uh, well, we we're just partying all the time, as much as it's, it's got like a sort of banger party vibe to it and then play pretend is just way darker mellow it's not as fun it's sort of i was going through a dark time in my life when i made that and this next album is sort of a culmination of the last 10 years and it's definitely my best shit yet i need a glass of water i need a credit card i need a hundred dollar bill i got a 20. she'll do Jay Crocker made this beat literally like five years ago, but I heard it and we had to do something with it. I don't want to see tomorrow morning and I don't want the sun to rise. Say I'm done with it. Mario Sweet. The legend. So why do I keep letting you in? I needed a Nacho Picasso verse on this album for it to be a San Chow album. So halfway through, we just switched the tempo. Jake made a whole new beat for the second half. Sam hit me with that song, man. I actually had to go get a pen. That's how that's how done with writing I was. I didn't even have a pen. I went to the store. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, I'm gonna have to actually write something to this one. We're going to Saul's video shoot to steal some footage. We needed footage for our documentary, so uh, we're just gonna steal some shit from Saul's video. As I'm riding on my bare rims again with my bun, all my money's my medicine. Gas pedal up in my speed, but I got a few snakes in my secret eye. What's up, man? <laughs> good to see you, bro. How you doing? This is Dev. Oh my god, this is a little sweater. Might, uh... <laughs> He's good? He's good. Oh my god. This sweater is amazing. I <laughs> know. We're getting in the solid video, so we had to dress him up. <laughs> so the first thing I came up with was the bass line. It was... Once we had the piano part, yeah. it was a rap. That's so crazy. Did you think of me when you when you made this beat? Cause it because of the piano kind of. Absolutely. Like... Well, it's, it's not really because the piano it was really the bass line. It was the bass line because I know that you go over. It's like you go over like really slick. Dope bass lines that that stick in people's minds. So like I knew once we got the bass line right. Yeah, and, yeah, and once I heard the bass line, I was like, I immediately heard your voice on it. And I just might go up to your door and play ding dong this right now, baby. I've been thinking about you lately. We can try and change me. I don't wanna die before I arrive. Oh my god, I'm so Let me, let me, let me get one more dance with you. One more chance with you. I won't let you down. I just wanna thank my fans so fucking much, man. You guys 
for sticking with me and putting up with my bullshit and you know I'm I can't wait to give you guys this one, man. This one is for you. I'ma have to drop another album I am. I've been making promises I gotta come true. Just a little taste of greatness soon come. I'm not done. 